Seems so far away. Seems. I cannot follow my king into the final battle. No. Don't give up. Gwendolyn, please take this. I have no use for it now. This spear has slain many foes, making a mountain of corpses. The king. Father will undoubtedly praise my actions. I'm sure he will. Do I see tears in your eyes? You're too kind, sister. Please, do not cry. Your older sister will leave the world as a great warrior. Ah, it is so dark here. Gwendolyn, I can't see you. Zelda, I won't let you be alone for long. I shall be by your side soon enough. We have lost this battle. There are simply too many enemies. Ha -ha! <laughs> So that is the Shadow Knight. Rumor has it he has made a deal with Halia to acquire such strength. What power? I will face him. Princess? You must not! <sighs> Kill me now. How long do you intend to keep me pinned down? On, run away. This battle is over. Any more deaths will just be a waste. Oh, I'm glad to see you're safe. I had feared you were. At this point, I cannot go back. Please, wait. But what good are troops that have lost their leader? Yeah. <laughs> 
Gwendolyn, you've returned. I have an announcement, Your Majesty, regarding the invasion. Our troops have been lost. The foes had more reinforcements than we had anticipated. We were forced to enter a battle of attrition. The Valkyries suffered many casualties, including Griselda, our commander. I know of Griselda's fate. Griselda fought bravely for you to the very end. She entrusted me with a spear in her final moments. She was the most gallant and noble of all my warriors. That spear is a special weapon known as a cipher. It collects spirits that haunt battlefields and uses their power to smite enemies. Henceforth, you shall wield the spear as you please. We shall launch another assault on the enemy. I shall personally take part in this battle. Send the troops when you're prepared. Father! Is that all you have to say about Griselda? Words will not bring your sister back. There's no time for sentimentality. Princess, we shall regroup with those able to fight. At the moment, I have four soldiers ready. Just say the word. We only have half the troops we started with. Everyone is rushing to their deaths. Oh, Princess, hear me out. That spear is a magical weapon called a cipher. The dwarves fashion the crystals out of jewels and use them in the weapons. It uses magical elements called Fosons, and is able to absorb and release them. It will surely lead you to victory. What? Griselda's dead because she rushed ahead of the main forces. It's certainly not because I was late to the battle. Lord Brigan. He may be one of our nation's heroes. But I hear he acts as he wishes because my father does nothing to stop him. That dastardly queen of the fairies? She was the one who summoned the dragon. That monstrous beast! She truly is evil. My dear princess, that stone on your spear is a jewel traveling from this world. It's very dangerous, and only one if we can obtain that cauldron. Ragnanov will have no more enemies. Princess, I had heard that the Shadow Knight looked like a demon, but he seemed human to me. Why did he let you go? Princess Gwendolyn, I am worried about you. Thank you, Miras. I shall bring some tea up to your room later. We're moving out now. Inform the troops. Griselda. So you're going to battle in order to win your father's love. That's not true. I'm fighting for my kingdom and my own pride. I may fall in battle, but that is a fate all our countrymen face. Don't try to hide the truth from me. You seek death so that you may earn the love you so desperately seek. Quiet! I am but a phantom. I represent your innermost thoughts. 
am pathetic. I've never been loved since the day I was born. Giving your life for your father will not make your death worthwhile. You will simply die, like Griselda died. Stop it! If I sacrifice myself for my duty, father will surely show his love for me. Surely. Princess Gwendolyn, this base is under our control. We've entered a dead... Princess? I am here to report that Lord Brigand's troop. The General has sent us a message to... He's so late! Orders from the King. Abandon the base and assault the enemy with... Hurry! Send the order to...
I have a report, Your Highness. The Aesir have launched an all-out assault. They are attacking our headquarters with all their soldiers. The Paladins fight valiantly, but tis only a matter of time till they are overrun. Odin. I see he risks his own life with this strategy of his. Here are your orders. Quickly! Call back the troops from the front line and attack them from behind. Use everything we have. Attack from both sides and annihilate them! Our king is bestowed with divine grace. Prepare yourself, Queen of the Ghosts. I, King Odin's daughter Gwendolyn, shall be the one to take your life. So, you call me a ghost? The Demon Lord's daughter is bold indeed. <laughs> it seems that my reinforcements have arrived. It's about time, sorcerer. Your Majesty, my sincerest apologies for my tardiness. Come, Belial, my faithful dragon. Let us put this to the test. Do you still dare to speak so impudently before my mighty dragon?
King Odin. Please rejoice. The enemies are retreating. It seems that it is finally over. Have Brigand's troops hunt down any remaining enemy forces? Go, inform all our soldiers of our victory. Sound the horn, and allow them to celebrate our glory. Now, leave me. King Odin. Yes, there it is. The crystallization cauldron. The fairies have kept it hidden for so long. Oh! Do you see this mysterious light? Now it is finally mine. This power will grant me victory in any battle. What's happening? Oh no! What happened to the glow? The cauldron's light has gone out. Do you know where my father... where I may find the king? The king is with the crystallization cauldron. What? Who goes there? What are you doing here? These stupid battles all over again. Cauldron is a source of disaster. I will not allow the crystallization cauldron to be used any further. Not by you, nor by the Queen of the Fairies. Wait!